Hello users, and welcome to Memento Mori the Second on Fast Monsters on Ultraviolence Difficulty. So I'm going to do the levels I know how to do 100%, 100%, but I do not know how to 100% every level. So keep that in mind. But um, yeah, it's been a while since I played this WAD. It's one of my favorites. We're getting directly into the action here. No long-winded introduction. None necessary. I've never played this entire WAD on Fast Monsters, I don't think. Maybe I have. I don't think so, though. Um, and so that's why I'm still choosing to play this on Fast Monsters. I'm also, coming up next, going to do Requiem. Shooting that switch, by the way. You can see the secret. Coming up next is going to be Requiem on Fast Monsters as well. And outside of that, coming up later in the Dude Month extravagancies, Ancient Aliens full playthrough, Sunlust is going to be the finale, and another one I'm going to be adding is Plutonia 2. So, don't worry though, things will definitely pick up the pace soonish. Um, I'm going to start uploading 3 to 4 a day instead of 2 to 3 a day as we round out to the final weeks. Well, I guess technically the final weeks are already here, but final week maybe. There's that secret. Oh shit, there's a fucking nether bugger. Get him. Alright, so there's the exit, but then you have this like little meme room here. I always forget that this meme room exists. It's like completely different textures, everything looks completely different. But it's just kind of attached to the level. So, I do prefer Memento Mori 1 to Memento... Memento Mori 1 to Memento Mori 2. I think Memento Mori 1 has a much more classic, like, feel to it. Memento Mori 2 has, like, it's very unique, distinct kind of design. Whereas Memento Mori 1 is kind of like a direct Doom 2 clone, kind of like, kind of that thing. Mixes and shades of Plutonia, Final Doom kind of stuff. Memento Mori 2 kind of goes off into it in a completely new direction. There's a lot of new textures. The music is really good. Um, the music was made by Mark Clem from Memento Mori 1. And then also some absolutely moronic, one of the dumbest people literally I've ever seen on the internet is uh, the one who made the other set of music. So every other level, they basically alternate and like, I forget which one is which, but evens are one of the authors and odds are one of the other authors. But uh, the guy, his name is David Shaw. He's basically a completely, like I looked up his Twitter account and he's like fully like MAGA, Trump 2020, the coronavirus is fake, like just full on Kool-Aid from that dude. It's really sad and it's really, really cringy. Um, but yeah, so he's kind of a piece of garbage. But uh, Mark Clem, from what I understand, may be a relatively stable individual. This part's really annoying on Fast. I've always disliked it. Don't you just hate when you find out, like, someone who does stuff that you enjoy just happens to be a really terrible person? It's really just bizarre to try to enjoy art made by someone who's just terrible. But, I mean, maybe he wasn't a terrible person in the 1990s, so that's possible. I really hate this shit on fast, I swear to god. There we go. This section on fast is always so annoying. Damn, I started off, the first level went pretty well. But now I'm just kind of crashing into my, my own pit of failure. Alright. I am very curious to see how fast it's gonna go. Holy frickin' mackerel. That's one. That's two. That's three, that's four and five. All right, 
Yeah, but look at these brick textures. Like, these brick textures are really fucking nice. Like, just a lot of the new- and look at these door textures. Like, a lot of the new textures added in Memento Mori 2 are just really nice. Again, they just add to their own, like, kind of motif, and it just builds its own kind of unique atmosphere. Just a huge fan of the kind of subtle changes. The, the levels are also still very Doom 2-esque. Some, some a little bit more puzzly than the others. But yeah, that's the second level. And Hell Beneath. This level has the super shotgun in it. Level 3 is the super shotgun. Unlike level 4 in the first Memento Mori, you get it a little bit sooner. This level's really fun, though. It's got one of my favorite songs in the game. It's just a really good song. Very, like, 1990s, like, Doom-esque. Fits the level really well, has multiple different parts to it, which I like. The level's also kind of puzzly as well. It's a very interesting layout. A lot of meshing of different kinds of textures. Then you have this green brick wall texture, which is a new staple for the Memento Mori. Ah? Uh, to, like, you know, wad. Memento Mori 2 uses this texture a lot. So this part, usually kind of difficult. Alright. Yeah, I'm hoping Memento Mori 2 can be done in a relatively short amount of time. There's a secret there. Because I do know this qu this wad quite well. I have never speed run it, but I do know the wad quite well. I've played it. Uh, this will probably be like maybe the seventh or eighth full playthrough. First of UV Max or UV Fast, though. Well, I guess it's not technically the speed run category. UV Fast, but Ultra Violence on Fast Monsters. A distinction I have to make. Though I have a lot of UV Fast records for some of these levels, which I am quite proud of. Definitely going to do more in the future. Also, holy shit. I just got annihilated by that fool. Holy frick. This level's really nice. I do love it a lot. This section's pretty neat. I love how it changes between a lot of the texture sets. Like, you got the green Doom 1 classic marble here. More enemies over there. Shoot that. Then you go back here and you've got, like, kind of like these, like, Memento Mori exclusive textures that accent the things. You've got the nice stained glass windows, which were previously only used, I think, in maybe one or two levels in Memento Mori 2. I know, or Memento Mori 1. I know it was, uh, in most dens 2, was the chief one that they were used in, but I think they were used in another level as well. Alright. This section's tough. You can choose either one of these paths. Oof. This section's rough. Okay. I think there's a secret somewhere. I think one of these is a secret. Yeah. Just shotgun shells. Alrighty. Yeah, like I've said before, this series, Knee Deep in Doom, is going to be regularly added as a daily scheduled show on my YouTube channel. Once again, after Doom Month uh, is over. Ah, uh, and then I'll go back to doing one episode every day. Obviously, I've got, at this point, nearly 200 of these videos that you can watch. The first, like, 15 or so are stream archives that are multiple hours long. Uh, so keep that in mind. I didn't come up with this format of doing 30-ish minute episodes up until, like, maybe the 20th 
episode of Knee Deep in Doom. Come on. Damn it, that's a really annoying thing to kind of like try to tread around. Unfast, this is just ridiculous because the demons basically will fuck you ASAP and I don't have that much health. Okay. Alright, let's just go with this. Alright, that works. You can just kill him from up here. The yeah, Memento Mori 2 is released, I believe, in the middle of 1996. And Memento Mori 1 was finished at the end of 1995. So this wad was seemingly created in six months or so. Um, and I think the mapper list is a little larger than the original. There are some new authors, I believe, as well. Um, and then also a lot of people may not know this, but I think it is kind of common knowledge, but there's another wad called Requiem, which is made by a lot of the same people and is essentially Memento Mori 3. It's kind of along the same continuum. And that's going to be the next wad that I play. I think I've already said that. And I will do that in UV Fast. Alright. So let's murder all these buggers. So that switch basically raises this lift so you can kind of escape this area. I'm gonna try to get the super shotgun before uh, killing a lot of those guys. All right, so because I'm gonna do this entire level, there is a skip, but I'm gonna get this key first before I try to do the skip. That way I don't have to come up here. If I do succeed, I don't have to come back up here. Holy shit. That was fucking horrifying. Okay. Hopefully this is an entertaining video graphic experience as of this moment. Yeah, you know what? I'm not gonna do the trick attempt just because there's so much bullshit. Alright. Oh. Okay. I got this. I'm gonna save 13 health, 3 Kako Demons. You know what? This is doable. There was this health kit that I left here. See, this is why you always gotta leave backup health. Boom. But yeah, I'm hoping to maybe finish Memento Mori 2 in maybe like six videos. That would be my ideal. I don't know if that's gonna end up happening though. Getting fucking pummeled. Because again, I've never really played this entire wad on fast, and it, I may get snagged in a few areas. Also, another thing, if you want to watch the secret levels, I don't normally play the secret levels for Memento Mori 2, and honestly, off the top of my head, I can't even remember what they are. Um, but, if you want me to play the secret levels, well, I will play them regardless, but if you want to watch me play the secret levels, then you're going to have to chuck a buck onto my Patreon page. And when you do that, one of these is a secret, I think, right? Maybe not. Anyway, so here's the skip. I failed, but I tried. But yeah, basically, if you want to watch the secret levels, chuck a buck onto my Patreon page, and you can watch all of those videos for all the wads that I've covered in this entire series. And again, at this point, I've done a lot of wads. I'm gonna have to like come up with like a commercial for the the Patreon page at some point. I guess I'm back here.
because I this I think I've done Alien Vendetta. I've done Plutonia Solo Net. I've done TNT Solo Net. I've done. T I just did TNT Revolution. I did Plutonia Revisited Community Project. You know. So I've done a lot of these wads now, and all the secret levels are going to be contained behind the paywall. But it's only a dollar, so consider backing me up. I'm a small timer, you know. Long time, small time. Alright. Those fuckers. So you can jump from up there to over here. Uh, and then get here early, which I thought I had the red key. Oh, I guess I... Okay. No. Nope. That's a little silly, but hey. I only have to go back up here. Damn, this level took way longer than I thought. Maybe this maybe this series will be a little bit longer than just six videos. Now that I'm starting to consider things. So this is a thing you have to click in order for it to get up. But you can just SR50 across. Boom. And hell beneath. Alright, this is level 4. This level's got a really good song, a really great atmosphere, just all around amazing vibe. So there's a skip you can do to prevent this from happening, and that makes you save a lot of time. But I'm not going to do that for this, I'm going to do this legitimately. As the kids may say, I'm going to do it legitly! I'm going to do it legitly, guys! I love the song for this level. I'd also like everyone to know that if you ever have any requests, feel free to let me know. I try to put requests in a, you know, just like a little spreadsheet to keep track of them. But sometimes I forget. Sometimes they fall through the cracks. So if you really want me to play something, don't hesitate. Don't feel like you're spamming me. Just literally spam me. Like, that's okay. You know, like... That's completely fine. So, you know, if I ever say, like, give me recommendations, and, you know, in two months from now and I haven't played whatever one, you know, like, someone may recommend something like, all hell is breaking loose. It's in a notepad. It's somewhere. I'll play it eventually. But I don't know when that will be. It will be just whenever I do it. And, uh... So as long as you're patient with me. If you're a patronizer, I may, you know, try to make it a little higher priority to cover that. You know, I may do it more instantly. But, you know, I'm not trying to put myself in any sort of position where I have to do something. Not again. I've been through that way back in the day when I was fucking full-time streamer, which, just thinking about it makes me want to vomit. But, uh... I will not be beholden to anything. So, thank you for understanding. I forget how to get in there. I think it's this around here. Oh. Oof! I guess there is a secret somewhere. I love how the song picks up again in kind of like a more dramatic fashion. Again, the music in this wad is tremendous. I like that. Even if half of the music is made by a virulent transphobe who doesn't even want me to even exist on this planet. Fuck you. But, uh, you make good music, so... Just saying. Woof! I love how, you, like, on the way back you get even more health kits. That's a really nice secret. Like, you get something and it's like, Wow, I got, I got some stuff! And then on the way back, it's like, wow, I got more stuff. I 
gotta stop doing that. It makes me look like a fucking moron. Thank you. Alright. Oh lord. Oh lord. This is scary. Come on, bitch. Bastard ass bitch. Die, bitch. Okay. See, I really like this level, how you have all these, like, little heli scenarios, and you make a choice on which ones you want to do in which order. And that's what I like about them, is it's very non linear. But, like, it has all these optional areas you can do in these soul sections as well. It's just a really nice map. Sad to say, I don't know how to 100% it. I really should, though. But what? Uh. Oh, I thought that didn't work. Fuckers. Alright, making progress here. I love those little bars. Because again, you revisit a lot of the same areas as you progress down the different pathways. And that's one thing that I think is super cool. Like I'm on this side of the canyon this time around. And then next time I'm on the other side and then they congregate in the middle. And it's just, it's a really cool design. How it's non-linear and like kind of the map changes based on how you play it. It's just super nice. Love that kind of unique atmosphere in a 1996 release. For example, that's the other part. They both lead here. Now what's this way? Come on, die bitches. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Am I being shot at from this? No, you don't, bitch. No, you do not. Cease. Thank you very much. Wonderful. Bad news. Bad news. Alright. Come on now. I've never played this section uh, particularly before, so this is cool. So in case you don't know, let me reiterate this. The whole reason I'm kind of doing a lot of these Doom videos is one, because it's been a little bit since I've done them. I kind of took like a month or so off. And then also my birthday is at the end of the month. My birthday is on the 31st. And so, why not play my favorite? game of all time during the month of my birth. I think it's like a little fun celebration thing. Hopefully you enjoy it. Definitely be sure to watch a lot of my other series though. If you're a gamer, you should like this channel. If you're a leftist, you should also like this channel. But if you're a leftist gamer, this is really going to be the zone. This is the zone where the cool kids hang, I'm gonna be honest. It's the fucking zone, bitches. Yo, I love that. Just like, yep, four medikits and a fucking green armor just chucked back there. And then you get the berserk that you probably don't even really need. Oh, is it just only that panel works? That, okay, that makes sense, because I tried the other one before. That's really funny, actually, that only one of those sides of the lift work. Anyway. Let's move on here. Back to the beginning. Now I believe this is the direction.
Alright. So I've already got two out of two secrets, so I'm guessing that green armor is either a multiplayer thing or like a secret secret that doesn't actually count as a secret, it's that secret. Which I do like those kinds of secrets, the super secrets, if you will. I like this whole platform maze. It's unique, it's interesting, it's cool. So you have multiple different teleporters you can take, and the wrong one will lead you there. Uh, and then you'll probably take damage from the lava. So you want to like do it in a certain order. You sneak around back here, go up there. And then you fall down here because of infinitely tall monsters. That's usually how that ends up. So you can just sneak over here and kill these buggers if you'd like. Normally they don't fuck me that hard. But this time they decided, they made the decision, you know what? We are going to fuck this bitch in the booty. And that's what happened. So. It's unfortunate, but now I'm on the other side of this little thing I mentioned earlier. There you go. Alright, it's this one. Wait. Right. It's not even a secret. Here I was thinking that was a secret. No, it's just a little thing. Yeah, because I've already got two out of two. So I'm going to end this video after level five. Not level four. So I'm going to do the entire fifth level after this as well. So a little bit of a longer opener episode for this wad, but it's a good wad. It deserves it. So I'll have the last fourth one here. Four out of four. I love that part of the tune, it's just so good. And then we're back, right here. Go on up. Buggers are kind of scary, but hey! That's fun. Coming up next, Rites of Package. Passage. So there's a little trick you can do here. It's really hard to do if you don't have a keyboard that, uh... If you have a keyboard that has a key press limit, but I just did it. So now I can grab that red key early, and I can go back up here and then restart the level. That's a little window, and then you kind of like go there later kind of thing, but you can get up there, and so that's super neat. It allows me to go in here immediately. One, uh, one day I decided uh, I was going to do a UV speed single segment of Memento Mori 2, and I should really pick that project back up. This one was a really interesting UV speed. It didn't rely on any really cringy tricks or anything, which I appreciated about it. I think I gave up learning around level 26 or 20. No, it was like 23 or something. And I gave up just because I got stuck. I did a few runs and I just got stuck and I didn't want to try it anymore and it was just like one of those things, you know what I mean? It wasn't like it was really that difficult. Uh, this was also a really long time ago, so I was just a lot objectively worse at this game. I little pressed a little secret early there, a little trick you can do. So this part, I always get confused where I go here. This level's one that like always confuses. I don't know why, I just, I don't know, maybe it's the marijuana? But I don't really know exactly how to navigate this level right now. All I know is I want to make sure all these buggers are dead. Okay, so I do think that there's a pathway. Right, you have to go through those. 
And these act as like mini switches. And I think that's just ambushing. Alright, cool. Okay, so where do I go? Where do I go? I don't remember. Let's go this way. Alright. Oh, is this just a little cheeky passage? Let's see. What about this way? Yep, just a little cheeky passage. Fair enough. Um, I forget exactly where I'm supposed to go. Yeah, sorry folks. I'm drawing a blank here. I really, really am. Maybe it is this way. Oh, did I unlock the exit already? I don't think so. I think I need another key for that. Yeah, I do need the blue key for that. I forget where to get it. I know where it is, but I forget how to get to that specific section. Is it up here? No? It's one of these. It's somewhere. It's somewhere. I'm Bear with me here. I, I've done this before. I'm an expert. I'm a professional. Believe me. Uh. Yeesh. Okay. Cool. I didn't know that was there. I really don't know where to go! Huh. I must be missing something extraordinarily obvious. Yeah, it is extraordinarily obvious. Right. So that gives me the red key. Wait, no! I've. No, that wasn't that obvious. I think it's somewhere... No, it's not. Okay. I don't think my brain is functioning at this moment. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this trick here. And I'm just going to jump out the window again. First time, that time. Cool. Alright, so now I'm this way. I've got no fucking goddamn fucking health. Which is gonna make this a lot more difficult than it really needed to be, but hey, we're in here for the long game. Come on, bitches. Let's go. Take it easy. Okay, so far so good. So far so good, so far so good, so far so good. Okay. Alright. Woof! Tried my best there, but oh, this fucking brings me back here. That sucks. Is there another fucking freak down there? Because if so, that's kind of dastardly. I don't remember how to get to that area legitimately, which is really silly. But you know. I am a really silly individual, so... Okay. 
Okay, we're good. Okay. Alright, so this is like the last kind of wrap I need to do. Jeesh. Okay. My lord. Just get everything I need. Alright. I'm ready. I like that little scary thing there. <laughs> All right, so you can just run run away from those fuckers if you want. All right, I can just go in this fucking that fucking shit. Go this way. Open that door. All right, so this is how the level works. So I'd like to start by th saying thank you for watching, everybody. It means a lot to me that you would watch this program. All right. Oh, there's health in there. And uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next step. Because I've got a story for the next level. This level coming up here. I've got a story for this one that I like. Alright, hold up. I didn't like that. Let me go back and get this. Anyway, if you're interested. I'll see you next time.